So I needed something to measure the lumens of some projectors I was testing. So I got this light meter and it is able to measure the lux or lumens of a light source. So we have a few different in the room here. Uh, I'm gonna try it on my iPhone. I'm gonna try it on a projector that we know the lumens on and see how it tests. But let's start by checking it out. So I've actually never tried one of these out. So I wanna see how accurate it is because I do have some different uh, lumen projectors, different sizes to try out. So you do get batteries with it. So you'll be able to use it right away. Uh, it does come on what looks like a little keychain of sorts to keep it in place if you need to hook it anywhere. Let's start by putting the batteries in. So there we go. I'm not actually sure what we do here. You can see it's got a screen right off the bat and then you have hold here. Ah, I see what this is for. So you gotta pop this little cap off here and that's going to display this white piece. And that's what's actually reading the lumens. So I'm gonna try with my iPhone here. So you can see right now it's reading like seven and this is just ambient room light. But let's turn on my iPhone light and look at that go all the way up to 72 plus now, around 70. And as we bring it closer, oh wow, it's really gonna read it. Okay, so I want to try out a projector and see how bright the light is. Um, so let's try this on a different projector that I have. So this is the Ultimia projector and it's supposed to be around a thousand lumens. So we're gonna try it on. And I'm not sure if you need exactly dark rooms to test this. So we're gonna try it with the ambient light on and then I'll try to turn the lights off and see if we get a different result. Now I'm also not sure how close we have to hold it. Um, so uh, yeah, I will hold it pretty close to try to get as accurate of a reading as possible. So I'll try to show you guys right here while we're at a different angle. I'm trying to get the perfect reading on it. And it's getting to about 700 when I have it directly on. It's a little hard to read it. I'm gonna try to hold, use this hold function. So I think once I get it right in there and I press this hold button, that should hold the number. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we've now turned off the rest of the lights, well, most of them. So we're gonna to try to get a more accurate reading here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put that directly in there and then I wanna press that hold function and that should lock that number in. So we're getting about a reading of around 400. Um, I trust this thing is accurate. There's probably a better chance that I'm either not doing the right distance or uh, the projector just wasn't a thousand lumens, which sometimes it's a little hard, I know, to test these, but either way, cool little light gauge to check out next time you wanna test some lumens.